After multiple failed attempts, it now looks like we're not gonna see Wonder Woman until 2015's Justice League. Still, our favorite Amazonian princess needs her own movie, and I know just how Warner Brothers can beat the Wonder Woman curse. I'm Will, and this is my war to make your superhero movies better. Wonder Woman has had mostly bad luck over the last 30 years. Don't be sorry! Yes, Linda Carter did manage to put her on the map in the 70s. Sexy. But DC's first lady comes from a long line of abandoned pilots and movies. David E. Kelly, Joel Silver, Joss Whedon. Joss freaking Whedon. All failed to bring Wonder Woman to the big screen. Most recently, the CW shelved their Wonder Woman origin story, Amazon. So, how are we gonna get the epic Wonder Woman that we deserve? You must now tell the truth. First, update the character. Wonder Woman was created in 1941. Ladies weren't really on even footing back in the day. A woman was supposed to stay at home and be married and have children. Yes, she's a powerful Amazonian warrior with a lasso of truth, an invisible jet, but she also wore a pretty tiara and was secretary for the Justice Society of America. Listen, let's kill the dated male fantasy costume. Seriously, look at her. She's wearing a swimsuit onesie. Hey, Aquaman. What? Check out the ass on Diana. It's clearly best suited to porn parodies. Statuesque badass Amazons can still be sexy in pants without looking like they're wearing the sacrifice skins of a million dead birthday balloons. What were you thinking, NBC? Let's get Chris Nolan's production designer on speed dial and get Wonder Woman some proper modern duds. And while we're updating, let's introduce her to fans using her coolest calling card. She was sparring partners with the god Ares as a child. She can kick Batman's ass, and she has a cool jet. She sells herself. My second step for a perfect Wonder Woman, stay true to the comics. <laughs> At least the more recent ones. Diana, that's her name, has some of the most awesome stories in comics history to adapt. League of One features Wonder Woman defeating and tricking the entire JLA to save them from an awakened dragon. In Paradise Found, Wonder Woman stops a civil war, fights Imperiex, who is one of the most powerful villains in the DC universe. She teams up with Darkseid and rescues almost every male superhero, even Superman. Even better, this story plays right into the Justice League movie with Darkseid and the entire JLA prominently featured. You couldn't begin to imagine half of them. That is only two storylines. There are so many more. Wow. So, what's left after getting her out of the beachwear and giving her an awesome story? Number three, casting. Everyone wants Olivia Wilde to take up the lasso of truth. I'd like to show her my lasso of will. That. That doesn't even make sense. For my money, you need three things for the perfect Wonder Woman. She's got to kick ass, have the acting chops, and still maintain that Wonder Woman sex appeal. I have two top picks. One of them is Buffy the Vampire Slayer alumni Eliza Dushku. She's already proven that she can knock a sucker out, and she's definitely got Joss Whedon's seal of approval. Second is Zoe Saldana. She's a sexy, proven strong actress who totally hung out with the big boys in The Losers. Colombiana? and is more than a pretty face in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek Into Darkness. Personally, I'm rooting for Dushku, but if Saldana even gets a sniff at an audition, I'll be a happy will. That's it! That's all that needs to be done for the perfect Wonder Woman incarnation. Come on, Warner Brothers, make us all happy. Do what needs to be done. Otherwise, you know where our money's going. <laughs> Do you have your own picks for who should play Wonder Woman? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm awesome? Leave your comments below. I'm Will and this is my war to make your superhero movies better. If you missed last week's video, where I desperately beg Robert Downey Jr. to never quit being Iron Man, check it out here. Yeah.